permits for taxi and for takeoff. A reminder that the use of cellular phones is not permitted at any time after engine startup. We just got into Saskatoon and now we're uh, we're on our way to the connection flight, right? You betcha. I just wish I was going fishing too because <laughs> I have heard fantastic things. Yeah, it looks like they're biting, doesn't it? Yep. Yep. I suppose we should bring that guy along too, right? <laughs> he brought his passport. All right, game on. To Sa or where are we going? Stony, Stony Rapids. Stony Rapids in a two hour flight because I think we have to stop and get gas, but we will be at Scott Lake Lodge in one day. Awesome. Stony Rapids, we just got in and uh, just unbelievably beautiful sight. So we're pretty surreal for me. I've never been on a trip like this to fly into a community way this far north and then to be on a float plane like that. The Scott Lake Lodge float plane just pulled up. So it's so it's a really uh, really unique experience and it's absolutely beautiful up here. Just a tiny little community in the middle of nowhere and you fly into it. And, you have this beautiful rapids back there behind us and everybody's waiting to get on the plane. It's really cool. So <clears throat> a couple more hours or maybe even only an hour and we're <clears throat> we are at Scott Lake Lodge. This is a place that uh, our clients look forward to coming because they realize that fishing is a small percentage of the experience here. The experience is this island, this vibe, and the people this island has captured and uh, we probably will never let go. Day one, we're at the dock, and uh, we flew in last night just to a, a wonderful welcome from the Scott Lake crew. It's, this place is just absolutely majestic. Everything that I pictured that it would be, and Matt's off getting sandwiches right now. I get to spend the day with him, and Jason, Jason's uh, you know running around doing doing office duties. But this place is just unbelievable, from the guide staff to the the service staff to to the chefs. Uh, and, and the most important part, we're gonna find out how good the fishing is, but from the sounds of it, it's pretty good. So hopefully this brand new McRubber doesn't look like this at the end of the day. So I'm looking forward to the day. Don't be afraid to get a Bruin, Bruin opening logo in there too, okay? I can't tell you the excitement that's flowing through my body right now. I mean, just the adventure to get up here, the wonderful dinner last night, rigging the rods, and just, I mean, shooting the breeze with the guides. I mean, they actually have a really specific game plan for how the fishing goes each day. Some people flew out, but Matt's pulling up to the first bay here, and this is like, this is like the spot and stock of a, a giant bear or the spot and stock of a giant elk or something or a mule deer. We're going to pull into these bays and sneak in slow and try to pick out the fish we're going to catch. And this isn't your normal pike fishing and I can't wait, wait for you guys to see what this is all about. But all time, at an all time excitement level right now.
Uh, what Scott Lake means to me, I mean, for a lot of us, this started off as a, a project, as a, as a summer job. And then uh, this place grew into something else we did. We grew into guides. We became professional guides. This became our life. The intimacy between uh, the staff and the guests. There's nowhere else like it. There's so much more to this place um, that makes it so special and so much revolves around uh, how, how we get to nurture our relationships with the, with the people we spend our summer with and that's, that's our clientele and it's, uh, it's a really important aspect of what makes Scott Lake probably, probably the best lodge fishing experience in town. Oh, oh my gosh, that's a big, that's boy, a big one. Got him, you got him. Yeah, yeah. Oh. oh my gosh, look at that thing. Stay on him, Jeffrey. Oh my gosh, that thing chowed it. That's a big one. That is a big hog. That is a monster. That thing moves so much water so fast. That was cool. That was really cool. My goodness. You can grab the net here, Matt. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Big oh. one. Big one. Let me get this out here. Really big one. Not hooked very good, so. No, nope. he's gonna get us out of harm's way. <laughs> yeah. This is the pike that we travel so far. Big, big, okay. big. Bring fat her head one. to me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, in the net she goes. Oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> what an intense battle. Of course, Matt, as we're working down the shoreline, he's setting it up saying, Jeff, when we approach this, this is how we need to do this to do it right. This is what we need to do. And they have so much experience on that. And the only reason we caught that fish is because we fished this bay absolutely perfect. Unbelievable scene. So cool. That fish ate it. and. And it ran so fast that it bumped it and then it got it again and yeah, it just died. Uh, and then and, uh, right when it went in the net, it got a little bit in the back, but that is a super cool fish. <laughs> Scott oh, Lake Lodge oh, Giant. Oh, this man. is why oh, we come to Scott Lake. This is why you travel thousands of miles to come up and cast oh. to a small little bay and have a fish like this just oh chow it. God. Look at the back on her, that is thick. I mean, it's June and this fish has got major, major muscle already. <laughs> yes, all awesome. right, let's let her go. I awesome. want to take good care of this one. Beautiful. Yeah, get her back, let's get her back. Good. Okay. Oh. oh, that's a dandy. Oh, wow, what an absolutely gorgeous animal. Look at how thick she is. Oh, that's a beauty of a fish. Look at the size of that head. Okay. What? Oh, 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 come here. Yeah. That's what we do. It. That is that's an amazing animal. Unbelievable. You know, oh. you know, there's there's nothing better than coming stalking an area that you know is high percentage. Yeah. Coming in there, setting it up, and that's the result. Yeah. Be able yeah. to put you on a fish like that. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, and and the cool the coolest part to me is is you called every little second of how that was going to go down. Like we just I cast that spot, I caught a really nice one. Work 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 as a grid pattern, and it was uh, we saw the one tail up and then all chaos broke loose. And there's another big one in there. I think there is. Yeah, I think I saw should. the back. I saw the back of one come up actually. Mm -hmm. We were just talking about that last night, which, but it's so <laughs> shallow in there. And then all of a sudden that other one just went. Yeah. Sometimes you got to fight through the smaller ones to get to the big ones. Yeah. I mean, the, the thing is, when people watch this, 
th it's still a challenge to catch those fish. You have to do everything right to catch those fish. And that's why a good, I, as, as sales pitchy as it sounds, that's why a good guide staff is so important because you're so dialed in on it, you know? A talented, educated guide staff, I should say. It's highly educated, a lot of experience here. And, and that's it. These, it can be sensitive situations. We're dealing with shallow water, small little, little areas, and fish that are, can be leery just by virtue of the conditions that we're facing. Yeah. And so, you know, having a guide that's experienced, that knows where you need to do, and, and can educate you on how to do that, and bring that whole task into completion, and ex yeah. execute to bring that fish into the boat, yep. so we get to touch it like that. Yeah, then we let it go. We let it go. And someone's gonna catch her again, man. Let's do it again. I love it. Super sweet. So we're fishing a pretty large expanse of, of shallow water, but in that, just like anything, there's always a spot on the spot. And in this place, it's this little pocket. And what we have here is just an indentation in the shoreline, and it's relatively static bottom, but there's a tiny little rise in the middle. And on days in early season when these pike, when they want to lay up there, they want to get that sun heat and they'll be laying right up on there. So what I'm doing, just to keep us off those fish, I'm throwing the anchor out the back and letting Jeff work around the shoreline. He's casting all the way to shore, hoping that he's gonna make contact with those fish when it comes over the hump. And that way, we don't disturb anything on the edge. We stay here, nothing gets stirred up. And, you know, if all goes well, the fish don't know they're there, they were here until they're hooked. I'm kind of nervous to cast in here. I'm actually downsized to this smaller McRubber. Um, just because this splash level, because it's only like this deep. Yeah, it's super cool. Big one, really big one. Get... Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Woo! We're gonna come to this side. Yeah, that was another giant. Right here, Matt, right here, Matt. In the net. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> that tape was Woo! Boom! That, that is smoked. unbelievable. Look, just, just reeling it in and it just stocked it and went hoof. That is two giants. Well, three pretty much giants. Back to back. Oh my gosh. Back to back trophy fish. That's why we come here. Okay. Do we need to show you anything else? Is there anything else that we need to show you? I've chased muskies my whole life and I've caught big giant pike, ice fishing, and fishing Lake of the Woods. But this, this is something special. This is intense. We just, it was so quiet, it was so still. You can just feel something was gonna happen. And there, there, here we are with the fish in the basket. Look at your fish, Jeff. Yeah, that is a dandy. That is another, another really beautiful animal. I'm telling you what, they're loving this McRubber. Yeah, they are. <laughs> <clears throat> Hooked right in the corner of the mouth too, perfect. Coffin corner. All right. You're gonna let me hold this one? Uh, it's all yours, yeah. buddy. You <laughs> earned it, you earned it. <laughs> all right, this is uh, this is another mid, mid 40 inch pike. I mean, this is a, uh, I mean, just, uh, just an absolute monster of a fish. And, you know, it's this, uh, Matt, even though we're up in the secluded area, Matt has talked about the success of catch and release and taking good care of the fish. And look at this absolute giant what of a fish. Beauty. <laughs> so clean. That is a so perfect. monster. So we just got, we're gonna show you for a very quick second. We're gonna put it back in the net. We're gonna snap a quick photo and then I'm gonna let her go. So beauty. Beauty. Awesome. Adam. What a fish, man. Oh, there she goes. So cool. Beautiful, beautiful animal. That is one of my favorite moments right there is to respect a, 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 a beast of, like you said, that fish is 35, 40 years old. Could be. Yeah. yeah. Just because they're growing season. Short growing season up here. We're getting up to the upper edge of their perfect environment. Yeah. Right? So, got <clears throat> a lot older fish. 
we see. And so it takes a lot of time to recoup. If you lose one of those trophy yeah. fish, you're talking years until one of the one from the lower ranks can take its spot and yeah. one that you want to catch and take a picture of. So it's extremely important that we treat them with respect and make sure they get back in the water safe and sound. Coolest part about fishing right there, respecting that catch and watching that tail disappear back in the water knowing that we treated her really good after. That's it. It's just, it's, it's a respect thing that once you, once you experience it, it's, uh, it's something that's really special to me. That's it. The fish, uh, you know, she did us a favor by coming out to play and yeah. we do her a favor by letting her go safe and sound and, you know, another guy's going to come out and get to experience that whole thing, that yeah. whole thing all over again just because we made sure she was holding it. Oh, ah, another awesome giant. Job. Mid 40 inch. <laughs> We just got dropped off on about a 60,000 acre lake that is about an hour flight from the camp and I mean this is, uh, the adventure of this is unbelievable. We're the only ones on this lake. Matt um, just started, they just started fishing it three weeks ago so these fish are fresh, probably haven't seen a lure in over 40 years and uh, I mean that's just the opportunities up here. There's several different fly out lakes and so not only is Scott Lake an amazing fishery with the quality of fish that you saw yesterday, but you get to go on an adventure like this, so really cool. I mean, just, we were looking at the, the map on the way up here, looking at different bays and stuff, Matt and I were like, and we're like, that's good, that's, that should be good, that should be good, so the exploring is really, really cool. So hopefully we're in store for a really big day here. Let's we'll start up and get going. Yeah, right on. That's a giant. The Mick Rubber is on fire. Absolutely on fire. Back to back giants. What a cool scene. Look at that. Just another hog belly. You know, we're here. Our goal is to shoot a bunch of, you know, photography and, uh, and video work for Scott Lake Lodge just to show these fish off. And the sun came out, so now we get to have a little fun and catch them. So I hope you enjoyed that catch because they are chowing the baits. What a goal. Absolutely magical. Yeah! Whoa! 
This place is magical. Oh my gosh, I can't even tell you. We're getting drone shots and charging a drone battery. And this thing rolls up on the straight wire spinner bait. Didn't eat it. Was gonna eat it to start and then I threw the mic rubber up and it rolls on it. And then it ate it again after the third cast. Unbelievable, it's a 40 incher. It's a giant northern pike. Absolute giant. Look at that thing. <laughs> oh man. Scott Lake Lodge is, if you are in this adventure and exploration and giant fish, this place is, is it. And we are the only ones, there's three people on this lake of 60,000 acres, and it's us. <laughs> you ready to see this giant? Matt, come down here. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, let's see. Oh, oh. Scott Lake Lodge, awesome. giant northern pike. Awesome. That is a beautiful clean fish and eating at our feet. What? Uh, I, I really can't believe it. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> see something like that is, that doesn't happen every day or everywhere. No. Pretty special. Beautiful animal. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful animal. Let's let it go. Let's do it. Oh, oh she's gone. Gone just like that, and a little burp. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, brother. Awesome. Give me her. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> we got her. We I got live her. For this, I absolutely live for this. This is what I live for. And this is everything we do. And you know the the reality. We we are up to 50 fish today, no doubt. Easily. And a lot of small, fun fish, visual strikes. I mean, so fun. Tons. Top water, and, shallow, shallow water. And the, we're not even fishing that hard because we're setting up. We're flying drones. You can see there's controllers all over and batteries, and the, we're getting the most epic shots ever. And if we were fishing really hard, we would have multiple big fish multiple. opportunities. And we do. I no just question. Caught, I just went back to back with close to 40 inches yep and this thing eats it at our feet shots at others and we're gonna see more <laughs> <laughs> can't wait right <laughs> boom yes right on a friend of mine Klaus Clausen from Sweden uh, designed this bait through Svartzanker lure and I've been on Klaus about us teaming up and bringing this to the US market and it's a completely new way to fish the US and Canadian market and and it takes some rigging, but once you get it right, I mean, if Matt can sit there and get excited about it and say that he's seen fish eat baits like you've, uh, like he hasn't seen in, I mean, it's just truly a special bait. So this is called the Mick Rubber. It's a paddle tail. You can tell this one is beat up because I only had so many from Klaus. He sent me a few of them, but I'm really excited about how this thing's been performing. It's a, they just can't say no. That big giant one just bit it and missed it and bit it again, and it just couldn't say no. It was really cool. So it's fart zonker, Mick Rubber, and it's all for you guys to catch more and bigger fish. So I want to do that again.
that. Slow motion giant. Slow motion giant. We are, this is the most epic day of fishing I think I've ever had in the bank. Here she goes. Yeah! Boom! Woo! <laughs> oh my gosh. There, I mean, when you, when you have a day like this, it's just drive up, look at them, cast the McRubber, and watch them just. Oh, unbelievable. 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 This is a really nice one. You take a look at this one. Matt, we'll pull up that net up here. Oh, we have the generator going because we're getting drone shots and that really kind of cool stuff. And in between charging batteries, we're catching 40 inches. Coffin corner. So now that we got all the generators and motors shut off, so you can probably hear us, we should probably take a look at this one, huh? We should take a look at it. That's a pretty fish. You get to do this quite quite a bit, don't you? I more often than most people. I'm pretty lucky. <laughs> you know, I feel pretty fortunate for that. But that's what uh, well, that's what being up here is all about, and this is what we do on a on a daily basis. I hope the scene is set for you guys to to really grasp what's going on. I mean, imagine driving to a lake and knowing that you are the only one within hundreds of if not hundreds and hundreds, hundreds of miles, of miles with it away from anybody and and there's fish in these shallow bays aquarium and we're picking them out and we're casting to them and joe is catching them at 240 mm -hmm. frames a second chowing the bait <laughs> they are chowing it absolutely <laughs> chowing it. all right well, that's enough yapping let's let's, let's look see at this, this thing one. i'm excited the queen She's a fat one. Oh, simmer down. You're just fine. Look at it. Look, look, just look. Look at it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh Beautiful man. Beautiful animal. Wow. Scott Lake Lodge. Do we need to say more? Wow. Do, do we need to say anything more? Yeah, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Pick up the stinking phone. Call my friend. What a day. What a day. Let's let her go.